hello friends welcome to the soft learning what is design modeler design modeler is a very important tool and the answer is if you don't have geometry then you can't analyze you can simulate so the geometry is must need and you can create the geometry through design modeler so i want to explain what is the design modeler in this video so the design modeler is a geometry making tool a sub software and ensis by which we can draw the geometry we can convert the geometry to solid body and we can make and uh, we can prepare our model for simulation so how you can go to the design modeler I have opened the workbench and uh, I can go to I can approach to the design modeler through these tools uh, design modeler is a uh, sub software and ensis you can go to uh, the design modeler through static structure through ensis fluent and other tools and uh, it is also a separate uh, product of ensis when you install ensis it comes as a separate tool as a separate software but we can go to the design modeler where this tools let's suppose i'm opening fluid flow fluent i am opening fluid fluent tool okay so first of all i will create the geometry this is the main point so where the geometry comes from either you make it in solidworks or autocad or the design modeler when you have no software of solidworks or autocad then this is the best option design modeler it is uh, in the ensis so you don't need to install separate software or separate tools i am coming to geometry when you come to geometry left click on geometry and here pop up three tools for geometry one is called new discovery geometry new space claim geometry new is just fine name you can call it discovery you can you can call it space claim geometry and design modeler so i want to show you this design modeler okay you will click on this in every tool you will see the geometry and after right click you will see this design modeler let's suppose i am dragging this random vibration or static structure okay and uh, now you will see geometry so when you left click on geometry the option pop up and you will see the design modeler okay i'm opening the design modeler it will open in a file okay here is our design modeler so this software i will give an overview of the design model in this video in the upcoming videos i will explain all the when you have no software of solidworks or autocad then concepts all the tools how you can make the body how you can make the structure how you can convert the drawing uh, your drawing to a solid body how you can convert your drawings to surface i will cover all of that necessary tools and design modeler you in the end of this playlist you will be able to make your own um, structures you know or models so this is our design modeler you can see here file create concept tools units view help these are our menu okay when you click on file you will see re refresh input start over okay all these things saving things exporting things and when you click on create uh, you can see exclude revolve sweep i will cover all these things 
and when you click on concept there are lines from points lines from sketches 3d curve surfaces from sketches and a lot of tools okay and uh, units uh, you, whether you want your uh, geometry in meter or centimeter or millimeter okay i am choosing this one always and uh, this is view of you can view your geometry and uh, the graphics options and uh, this is help when first of all you come to design modeler what will you do first of all you will do when you creating the sketch then you will click this new sketch okay i'm clicking on new sketch it is in xy plane so this is this plan is uh, not in front of us when you want to make it uh, look at face plan sketch then you will click on this option okay then you can see the uh, y and x direction z direction is in this way and this is y direction and this is x direction so this looks good after that uh, there are two options one is called sketching and modeling you can't model when you have not done sketch so first of all you will do sketching when click on sketch here you can see in drawing tools line tangent line line by two tangents polyline i will cover all of these don't worry and you can modify your drawings by fillets chambers when you want to do fillets chambers and you want to trim some lines you want to extend the lines you want to split drag you want to cut you want to copy the line and paste and uh, when you uh, give dimensions to your lines your circles then this is the dimension option and this is constraints constraints mean when you want to uh, make your line horizontal vertical perpendicular tension coincident midpoint symmetry parallel i will cover all these in very detail in this course but i am now giving you the overview of design modeler and the third number uh, sorry first it is draw second modify third dimension constraint and then a setting uh, setting up grids and major grid spacing etc okay so first of all uh, i will draw the a, a little uh, two dimensional uh, pipe for you to uh, for your understanding to show you how this design model works i am teaching i am showing things in the steps so you can learn and give your time so you will learn all the points okay first of all when i draw the uh, rectangular pipe then i will choose the rectangle and draw like this okay and uh, after that i want to make a valve in it okay and uh, now it is completed wow it is so easy huh okay now i want to modify it what modify mean trim i want to trim this extra area okay and uh, now i want to do both sides equal so how you you can equal both sides click on this on this and this wow so both sides this side and this side are now equal and also this is an equal so i want to equal these two okay nice so my geometry is completed one thing is remaining that is dimension i will give dimension to it 
this is uh, I don't want to change it it is for your under understanding it is 18 millimeter and uh, this one is 90 and uh, this one is 9 this one is 90 sorry 184.89 you can see the dimensions value here dimensions here okay I don't want to do dimension for these because I have equal this line to this one and symmetric option so if I do the dimension of this then it uh, answers will show me that uh, you have uh, or define the object or define your drawing to okay so this is uh, your design modeler i will show you every step and very easy way that you will think about all the things are very easy so now click on generate but before generation i want to tell you go to concept if you want to convert your drawings to surfaces is surfaces is from sketches okay so click on all these sketches lines and your wall and click apply and you see this yellow generate option click on this generate so one thing popped up here one part one body and uh, this is surface body so um, my sketch is converted into surface body now this is a surface body and uh, when you look at to it it is a surface okay one so this is your uh, 2d model and uh, it is like a, a pipe this is inlet okay and uh, this is outlet and this is a wall so my aim is not simulation so i will show you later that how you can simulate how you can do ansys fluent simulation to this body but my concern my aim is to show you how the design model works how you can generate how you can make your models on design model for further simulations and analysis so that was it it was it is very easy i will work hard on it to show you every part of it and uh, every uh, design and every tools and concepts okay watch the next video i will show uh, more about design modeler and uh, try to watch all the playlist if you want to learn design modeler and if you want to uh, search a specific a specific video then it will also be available in the playlist okay thank you for watching hit like and subscribe to my channel so you can watch more videos related to NCIS and simulation thank you